Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure you're laying down. I'm sure you've had a busy day, so now it's time for you to listen to my story and relax. It's quite an exciting story, but after the story, I promise we'll definitely slow things down and relax. But I have another cat adventure today. Heidi and Cherry go and stay with Grandma. Okay, so we're ready. Try and lay as still as you can while you listen to the story. Use your imagination and see if you can see pictures in your mind. Well, Heidi was actually very happy. She found out that they were going to stay with Grandma's for two nights. At Grandma's house, they have this crazy thing that Cherry is going to love. But Heidi is keeping it a secret until they get there. Heidi actually loves staying at Grandma's house. It's really nice there. It's out in the middle of nowhere and there's lots of trees. It's like in the middle of the countryside on a hill. It's peaceful and quiet and Grandma is so loving. Cherry hasn't met Grandma yet. But Heidi knows that Grandma is a really nice lady. So she's very happy about going. The drive to Grandma's house is quite a long time. It takes them at least six hours to get to Grandma's house. But Heidi and Cherry's owners were going away for a couple of days, so they needed Grandma to look after them. So that's what they were going to do. During the six hours, Heidi managed to stay very calm about her secret. Cherry was crazy, as always, in the car. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm going to meet Grandma! Oh, yay! Grandma! I think I'm going to like Grandma! She's never met Grandma, but Heidi had told her that she's very nice, so she already knew she was going to be nice. I can't wait to meet Grandma! And she kind of bounced and jumped around in her cat cage in the car the whole six hours. <sighs> Heidi just got tired watching her, as usual. She still hadn't calmed down very much from the day they first got her and they first brought her home. I think Heidi had just come to the conclusion that Cherry was quite a crazy cat and she was okay with it. She liked her a lot. So they get to Grandma's house. Mom and Dad say goodbye to Grandma, say goodbye to Cherry and Heidi. Give them one final stroke and tickle, and they're on the way. Cherry is jumping around everywhere, checking things out, sniffing things. What's this? What's this? What does this do? Have, have you been here? Can we go outside? What do we do? Where do we go? Is there a cat door? Oh my gosh, this house is so cool. It's really big. I like Grandma. I think Grandma's great. Yeah, I really like her. I like her a lot. I like how she tickles my ears. I think she's really cool. On and on and on she went. Heidi said, 
Come here, I have a surprise for you. Let me show you something. Oh, I like surprises. I love surprises. What is it? What is it? I can't wait. <gasps> is that it? Cherry said as she looked at the cat bed. Yes, that's the surprise. But that's just the cat bed. What's, what's the surprise? Heidi said, it's not an ordinary cat bed. It's called a dream machine. A what? A what? It's a dream machine. Grandma got it especially for me a couple of years ago. And we can sleep on it together. Oh, oh all right. Well, that's, that's okay. No, you've not heard the best of it said Heidi. The dream machine vibrates and massages you while you lay on it and it heats up so it's all warm and soft and snuggly and it moves just a little bit and kind of vibrates as if someone's tickling your back the whole time you sleep. What? What? said Cherry. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go to sleep right now. Well, wait, wait, said Heidi. I have to warn you. When you sleep on the dream machine, in the past, I've had some crazy dreams. Fun dreams, but kind of vivid and, and crazy. Oh, I like, I like it. I like it already, she said. Let's do it, said Cherry. Okay, okay. So they both kind of turned around a couple of times and got settled down on the dream machine. Before you know it, it was warm and cozy and vibrating and they were off, both of them, in deep, deep sleep. The amazing thing was when Heidi kind of came to, she found herself walking next to Cherry down a very, very shiny, slippery floor. It was gray, it looked like marble, and both of them were trying their hardest not to slip as they walked behind a gentleman with a very, very, very shiny black shoes, black trousers, and a red fitted jacket. He also had something big, black, and fluffy on his head that looked like a bird's nest, which Cherry thought was hilarious. <gasps> I wonder if there's any birds in that. I wonder if there's any birds in it. <laughs> She kept laughing and she loved the fact that this floor was extremely polished and very slippy. She was slipping and sliding as if she was skating on ice all over the place, trying to follow the gentleman. He kept saying, just follow me, please. Follow me, stick behind me. Didn't take too long before Heidi realized she was actually in Cherry's dream. The gentleman stopped at a big, fancy wooden door at the end of a large room with the shiny floor in it. There were ginormous pictures all over the walls, pictures of very serious looking people. It felt like they were in something or somewhere very posh, like a castle or a kingdom or a palace. That's it, Heidi thought. Cherry is dreaming about being in a palace. The gentleman knocked again and then opened the door. There was a muffled voice in the background that said, yes. 
Your guests have arrived, madam. Just show them in, show them in, said the female voice. They went into the room, which everything, almost everything, was red and gold. It was very, very decadent and fancy. Heidi just stayed quiet and followed along as Cherry slid full speed to the feet of the Queen. The Queen of England. What? thought Heidi. Cherry and I are visiting her royal majesty. Wow! How cool is this? Hi, Queen! Hi, Queen! We're here to report on all the latest laws needed in the world, said Cherry. Very good, very good, said the Queen. Right, well, I have my pen and I have my paper and I'm ready to listen to all of your recommendations, she said. Right, well, we've been discussing it, she said, and, this is Cherry, and we think the first law that needs to be passed is Mr. Whiskers, you know Whiskers that makes Whiskers cat food? Well, yes, him, Mr. Whiskers, needs to make an ice cream flavoured cat food. Right. Okay, she said, said the Queen. Well, can you explain? Yes, Cherry said. Every single cat food is fish flavoured or meat flavoured. There's no sweet flavours. And we love cream. And we especially like ice cream. So could you please pass a law in the land that says they have to start making ice cream flavoured Mr. Whiskers food for cats? Right. Right. I have that written down. Very good. Is there anything else? The Queen looked down at Heidi. Heidi said, Well, since we're passing laws and all, I think that there should be a law that says that all the cat litter in the world should look like rainbow rainbow sprinkles and even more every time you buy a bag of this particular cat litter it's a surprise what fragrance it is when you open it things like it could be flavored like orange or it could smell like lemons or it could smell like strawberries so it's a surprise, you see, every time you open the bag. Great idea! Great idea, said Cherry. I really like that idea. Yeah, rainbow sprinkles as cat litter. That's the coolest thing ever. Yeah! Yeah, Queen, yeah. Make that a law. Right, well, okay. I have that written down. Is there anything else that my two advisors have for me today. Cherry said, Yes, yes, one final thing. Pass a law, please, that says all cats need to have a cat nap on a lap every day. Do you get it? It rhymes. Cat nap on a lap. Cats nap on laps. They like it. They like it a lot. Can you pass that law, please? At least once a day. A nap on a lap. In fact, I'd like a t-shirt that says cats like to, like to nap on laps. I think that'd be a really cool t-shirt, don't you?
the queen said. Oh, well, actually, yes, I agree. I think that would be a very cool t-shirt. And I actually think that's a very, very clever, smart law, Cherry. I will definitely have that one passed. I will look into the other two. But I think every cat needs to have a little nap on a lap every day, don't you? Yes! Yes, she said! That's why I think it needs to be passed! Straight away, straight away, said the Queen. There was like a crackly noise and a shaking noise. And Heidi shook her head. And Cherry shook her head. And they opened their eyes. And Grandma was shaking a box of cat food. Come on, girls, it's time. Come and get your lunch. Both of the cats looked at each other as if to say, Wow, that was a cool dream. How cool was that? They walked over to Grandma. They both ate their lunch. And then later that evening, Grandma sat in a comfy rocking chair with both of them on her lap, taking a little lap nap. Grandma was watching TV. Heidi was listening to the TV with her eyes closed. And she heard the news announcer mentioned something about the latest craze of cat food. She opened her eyes and pawed at Cherry, who woke up and opened her eyes. And they both was watching the news anchor talking about the latest craze of cat food. Just released. All the cats in the entire world are going crazy over ice cream flavored cat food. Cherry and Heidi both looked at each other as if to say, no, no, no way. <gasps> the queen actually made ice cream flavored cat food. How cool is that? All right, my little friends. Time for us to go to sleep. Take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. A nice deep breath and breathe out. One more nice deep breath and breathe out. Time to let your body start to really relax and get sleepy. You can imagine in your mind if you like that just like Heidi and Cherry you're laying on a dream machine. It's all warm and soft and snuggly. And the faster you go to sleep and close your eyes and start to dream, the faster you'll have crazy fun adventures just like Cherry and Heidi's dream. Let your head get heavy in your pillow. Make sure that you've definitely got your eyes closed.
so your whole body can start to get very, very heavy. Every time you breathe in, you get more and more relaxed. And every time you breathe out, you seem to sink deeper and deeper into your bed. Breathing in and breathing out. in your nice, warm, soft dream machine. Your legs are heavy, your arms are heavy, your body feels really nice and comfortable. Just let your whole body start to drift off into sweet, sweet dreams. Getting sleepier and sleepier. Sleepier and sleepier. 